Now we are now module number 10, I believe. Module number 10 is we're going to partner with brokers. Okay, so let me let me back up. If you are in a broker state, I want you to partner with a broker. Reason being is the brokers are the ones that are, they are the middlemen between you and the state and Medicaid. So if you want to deal with Medicaid and get Medicaid patients, you're going to have to go through the brokers. You may not know if you are in a broker state, but attached will be a uh, attached to this course. There is a uh, ebook that tells you all the brokers in the broker st states that are available. And if you're in, in a state such as Louisiana, Texas, California, I believe uh, Alabama, Virginia, Jersey, Arkansas, Tennessee, states such as those, uh, you are in a broker state. And so what you need to do is you're going to partner with brokers such as VEO, V-E-Y-O, Modif Care, Logistic Care, uh, Southeast Trans, Access to Care. Like there's several brokers out there that you can partner with. Depending on the region that you're in, you can go to their website. The website usually is approximately maybe about two pages long. And we're going to go over that in the next video and share with you on what you need to fill out when you're filling out these applications to partner with these brokers. So there's certain information that they're going to uh, want to know. And, and for you, make sure you're following the, the steps that we have uh, listed before. Uh, in order for you to get to this particular step when you're partnering with brokers because you're going to need your MPI number just to let you know. So make sure you already have your MPI number because we're going to ask for, you, ask for that in this particular uh, application, the uh, partnership with the, with the brokers. So um, like I said, those are, the, those, those are some of the brokers that are uh, the main players that's in the region and you want to partner with those. And I know several people that have work with brokers and they are um, multi six figure uh, business owners making some really good money. So um, I know I talk mad crazy about brokers because I'm I'm a private pay guy. But you know, what I can say is brokers do allow they do give they do get your feet off the ground as far as business owners because they provide you with clients that you can um, pick up and transport on a daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. So partner with a broker if you are in a broker state because this will get your business off the ground and it allows you to get into these medical facilities and you'll understand what the lingo is and how you need to talk to these particular facilities if you want to um, basically start your private pay. Because in the end, you want to build private pay on the side as, why, as, as you're you know, working with these brokers because you want to eventually have your own clients. So I'll see you on the next video and we're going to go over uh, the application for one of the uh, um, broker partnership that you can go into. See you in the next video. And this is how basically how you partner with brokers. Access to care. They're down in Florida. They're down in, um, I want to say, a lot of the southeastern states. But let's start the process so you can see what I'm talking about. Managed transportation. Okay, managed transportation. This is what uh, qualifies you as far as, you know, NMT program capabilities, okay? We're going to read through this real quick. Access to Care is one of the nation's largest managers of non-emergency medical transportation services. They began in 1998 with a national ambulance management program under our parent company, AMR. Currently, we provide NMT and managed transportation services to Medicaid and Medicare members through government and managed care organization contracts. That's a dip, that's one type of uh, broker. That's, in, in, that's a management type of broker. Okay, so... How do we get started, right? You want to go down here and go to transportation providers, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. And you want to fill out. Look forward to hearing from you. Apply here to become part of our network. Now, if you want to join the network, this is what you're going to do. You're going to fill out the information pertaining to you and your company. So I'll put contact name, Dante. Harris. No, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Dante Harris goes right here. Title contact, I am the owner. Address, you put it. So 
So the state would be Michigan. The city would be Detroit. Zip code for eight two two seven. Phone number two four eight five nine eight seven zero eight zero. Put your email one two three main at gmail dot com. Mobile phone number. Uh, Fax number if you have one, name of the owner, owns the company. Is there more than one owner? You'll check no. Transportation provider website. You put the website here. Okay, then level of service with number of vehicles. So we are ambulatory. Ambulatory basically means you are driving a, a four-door vehicle such as a Honda Accord, a Kia Sorenta, a, a Ford Escort, Chevy Malibu, um, Buick LeSabre. You know what I'm saying? Though that's what type of vehicle it is. Okay, that's what ambulatory stands for. Um, number of vehicles, you'll just click the number of vehicles that you have. Put one. If you got a, if you got a pair of wheelchair vehicles such as uh you know the uh, Chrysler Town and Country, you put whatever you have here. Um, number of vehicles and all that you know what I'm saying EIN number that's what we we're talking about in the beginning of the video. You had to get your EIN number from the federal government that goes here. So we put a eight eight dash nine seven zero 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 yeah. And your MPI number, your whatever your ten digit MPI number is, and then your Medicaid number, if you if it's required in your state, and then we just want to check our uh, hours of operation. Okay, so if you're gonna be open all seven days, just check everything. Even if you're not gonna be open seven days, just make yourself available. Um, like on weekends, you can charge more. You know what I'm talking about? So stay on the course. Okay, primary state of operation. We're going to go down to Michigan. County, Wayne. And then any secondary counties that you want to work in. Washington. Lynn, no way. And Macomb. Okay, primary language should be English. If that's what you speak, are you diversely owned company? And no, it's not a woman-owned business, but it is a minority-owned business. If you have any certifications that we we're talking about before, which is your CPR certification or PASS certification, you'll upload it here because they're going to want to see that. And then from there, you submit the form. So that's how you fill out a uh the broker application they're basically all the same they have the same you know type of information um when they're asking these questions so now uh you, you know how to fill out that application to partner up with these brokers brokers that you can check out southeast trans being one of them i guess they're now now they are verita so we just go to the website and we check and see okay and this this tells you what states they are operating in they operate in Arkansas, Georgia, Indiana, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Now, if you want to partner with them, they basically do the same thing as all the rest of the brokers. You just partner with them because they're your direct access to Medicare. So you hit the transportation provider. You click down here, click on the links below to learn more about a program, whatever state you're in. So say, for instance, we are in Georgia. What up, though, GA? What up, though, ATL? So this is where we uh, start processing our information. So you access a provider portal. You can go here. 
and you got to create an account. So I'm not going to do the account, but I just want to share that with you. That's uh, Verita. Here's VO. VO is a uh, NEMT broker as well. You can go to the top and... See if we can find a uh, sign up here. So you create a profile. And these are the states that they are in. Arizona, California, Connecticut, Florida, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, Texas, Virginia, and Wisconsin. So you have to create your account and start you know, filling out your information from there. Last but not least, I believe Mod of Care. This is one of the well-known ones, Mod of Care. And what you do is you go into non-emergency medical transportation and learn more about Mod of Care's new NMT platform. The Mod of Care Mobility Access Platform. This is this is how it basically operates, you know. If you see how the, the login is right here on this on this corner. Or this this telephone over here, cell phone, and then that that's the uh, monitor that your dispatchers be paying attention to. So let me see if you can get it. Well, you know how the application goes, right? I'm pretty sure you got to set up an account. Yeah, you also got to create your account with with uh, Mod of Care. I can't go over the application with you, but it's the same process, same type of questions. Maybe a, one or two questions that's different. But uh, that's how you, you know, partner with the brokers. This is how you're going to get paid with Medicaid. You're going to make sure that you want to have this uh, set up because that's the only way that you're going to get your clients. And for anybody that's just starting off, you might want to, you know, go the broker route as opposed to private pay. So you can start building up your, your momentum, your client base, your relationships, and then, you know, venture off and get your uh, uh, private pay. Um, I want you to do that simultaneously. You know, while you're working with brokers, start building up your private pay clients. But um, hope this video helped you, uh, you know, with partnering with the brokers. And I'll see you on the next video.